everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you another pregnancy related video. One that I never planned or thought I would be making but pregnancy is unpredictable and things can change. So yeah from the title of this video I am trying to turn my breech baby. So at my 32 week scan baby was presenting breech now it is still a bit early to get i say worry about it but to you know see it as a that's it i'm going to be having a breech baby because she can turn between now and then they can you know the later they get the bigger they get the harder it is to turn but it's still a possibility so i'm not stressing about it right this second but i am trying to take a proactive approach and do things that are going to encourage baby girl to move now at my midwife appointment they actually recommended something called moxibustion which i'd never heard of before but it is a chinese herbal like medicine technique and it's normally done by acupuncturists and i was all for that I, I love acupuncture i think it's really good i am into more holistic side of treatments and things like that so i was like yeah that's right in my strain apparently like researching it, it does actually have proven results and i'm thinking well if a midwife is recommending that then it must be something to go for so i researched and looked up um, a local acupuncturist that did moxibustion treatment and i went to them so i went in clinic and she you know went over the stuff like the treatment and you know we could work it couldn't work and I did the treatment in her clinic for me the first one and it has to be done for 10 days so she sent me home with some moxibustion sticks just to do it myself so i need to do it every day for 20 minutes for 10 days and hopefully that will help her baby move into head down position now the day i got it done she uh, baby girl was definitely wriggling a lot when i was having it done but my god when i got home i about five o'clock so i had that done really early in the morning like half eight and at five o'clock in the afternoon she and they apparently they say as well that you you know when your baby turns and i was like really because you feel a lot of movement um so how can you really be sure but that evening she turns so much that i'd be surprised if she's not head down like the move i've never felt movements like it like she was on one like she was it felt like she's trying to escape you know you see those videos where you see babies literally like kicking out of the stomach and stuff like that i mean that was how rigorous the movements are and i have an interior placenta so normally i don't get as much um of those like right out the stomach movements because obviously that's blocking it but yeah if if she has moved that's when she moved like it was i can't describe it it was just i've never felt movements like it but obviously i'm carrying on with the techniques so i'm going to insert a clip of me doing it at home with both different there's two different moxie sticks so i've got a smoky one and the smokeless one um which she did the smokeless one in the clinic as you can see in the clips another thing that they recommend for getting your baby to turn is chiropractor or osteopath treatments to align your pelvis to make sure your pelvis is good so baby's got that kind of proper freedom of movement and not restricted i'm already having chiropractor treatment for my basically to help me get a v back because i do have a kind of tilted and twisted pelvis anyway that we picked up on so maybe that is a cause of baby being breached i say you know your posture your pelvis alignment the way you sit can all like hinder or prevent baby from getting in that really good position so i'm already having that treatment anyway but that is another thing to consider go see a chiropractor see if they need to align your pelvis just to open that up and let baby move now if you have a breached baby and you are looking in in techniques to do at home to move then spinning babies will come up over and over again everyone i spoke to midwives the um my acupuncturist everybody recommends spinning babies there's a few different positions that they recommend in there i would highly suggest to go check them out but i will go through and show you some of the techniques that i'll be doing and doing to help baby to turn so i am going to take you along the journey in this video so as i said i'm 35 weeks um i'll be 35 weeks on tuesday and then the following friday 
I've got a midwife appointment so they'll have a feel and kind of indicate whether she's still breech or head down but then the following Tuesday when I turn 36 weeks I've actually got another scan so I will know for sure then whether baby is still breech or she has turned. I'm hoping that the midwife appointment they'll be able to feel and you know give me a bit more positive news but I'll know for sure and then there are obviously next steps um there's something called an ecv external cephalic version which i think that's how you pronounce it where they turn baby i did briefly mention this to the consultant the other day and she said well because i've had a prior c-section i may or may not be able to have it she said it depends on types risk blah 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 so that's a conversation i may need to have may need to consider if I want to have a VBAC breech birth and just things like that. So, you know, as I said, my birth plans may change a little dependent on what happens. But hopefully everything I am doing and showing you guys in this video is just going to result in baby turning head down. So let's get on with it. So guys, I am on day four of my moxibustion. I am currently doing day three at home i'm using the smoke sticks like a smudge stick but as you can tell it's very smoky it stinks and it will stink for days so do it in your bathroom make sure you're all like well vented um i'm just going to quickly show you with this and then i'll go through with the i've got a smokeless one as well which is like less ashy more, more condensed burning one um so i'll show you that one as well so i have to do this treatment for 20 minutes a day once a day. Um, I had my first session with the acupuncturist in clinic and then I've got to do it 20 minutes a day at home. I would really, really suggest that you do this in your bathroom, take out all your towels, any clothing baskets, anything that can really like have a smell that lingers to it because it does stink and you wanna make sure you don't set light to anything as well, make sure you're near water, just tapping it off. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm using a smoke one <coughs> at the moment, but I've got the smokeless one I'm going to move on to. Um, and yeah, I've just got to do this for 10 days. Um, and I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I'm just circling it round my small toe where the like, corner of the nail bed, um, circling it around, just taking it off it gets a little bit too hot, but I definitely want like that oh, warm, not like so it's burning that it hurts, but that warm sensation. And take it away and I'm doing five minutes per foot so I'm doing five minutes on this foot and then I'll swap over do five minutes on that other foot um, and then I will do I just realized I stopped my timer I had my timer going and I stopped it when I started talking so I'm guessing maybe this has been done for five minutes but yeah five minutes on each foot got a timer that works um, and then that's me done for the day so baby girl does um start to jiggle after a while in this session no she's actually starting to go now so it's really weird that she um she does does move when i do this so it must be it really must be so people swear by it and i i am quite into my acupuncture and my my chinese medicine um and alternative like treatments so i definitely was really keen to try this so fingers crossed in like at my 36 weeks now, baby girl would have moved. And I tell you what, it's easier to do one side, and stretch your leg out and then do the other. So when I do my left foot, I always find myself a lot more awkward and less flexible and less natural doing it than I do on my um, on my right foot. I'm just um, pretty surprised I can still get in this position at like nearly 35 weeks pregnant to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm just going to continue doing this, I've got like another 15 minutes left, another few feet and then I'll be done. So this guys is the smokeless stick one which I mentioned I'm going to try today. Hopefully it doesn't stink as bad. really smell of anything but yeah apparently this is a bit harder to light so that definitely took a lot longer to light than the smoke one but again this doesn't smoke 
it doesn't smell that bad, it's just gonna be a heat one. Same principle, five minutes on each toe, and then I am done. So I had my 36 week scan and great news, baby girl is head down. I am really, really happy about that. Now I was telling myself that I wasn't gonna get stressed out about the situation and what would be would be in our dress that she would be breached if that was the case. But I got to say it is an absolute like weight off my shoulders that she is head down now. And I 100% believe that she turned head down the first day I did moxibustion in the clinic with my acupuncturist because as I said, I had never felt movement like it. And I really believe that that is when she turned. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend trying moxibustion if you've got a breech baby and you're wanting to do it. Obviously, there is the forward leaning inversion and the figures to breech tilt. I didn't get any good footage of me doing it, so I will try and link some videos down for you guys. But check out spinning babies and I don't know if I mentioned also swimming, going upside down in a swimming pool is really good and then hot and cold compresses. So cold at the top of your stomach and warm at the bottle so frozen peas in the water bottle it should help baby move towards the warm and away from the cold so they're all great tips that you can use to turn your baby but my ultimate one is moxibustion i really really believe that is what turned my baby girl so if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm 37 weeks now so i'm on my last bit of this pregnancy so i've got a lot of prepping content coming nesting content coming nursery content coming hospital bags so if you enjoy things like that please stay tuned and i will see you in my next video goodbye